today we are going to discuss a system of first order ODEs. Uh, system of first order ODEs. Okay. Uh, we had discussed what is a first order ODE and how to solve it. Uh, we studied different methods for solving first order ODEs, for example, separable ODE, linear ODE, exact ODEs, and some of the techniques. Now we know that uh, a first order ODE can be written as dy by dx. Uh, is equal to some function of x and y, where y is the dependent variable. Y is basically the dependent variable. You can write uh, in some other variables, for example, you can write dx by dt, sorry. dx by dt is equal to some function f of here, the independent variable t and x, which is the dependent variable. So x here is the dependent variable and the t is the independent variable. In physics, we usually use this notation and in mathematics, we usually use this notation. So this was basically the first order ODE. And we know that how to solve it. It includes different techniques which can solve linear first order ODE, nonlinear first order ODEs. Now today we are going to discuss how to, what are, what is a system of first order ODEs and how to handle it, how to solve it. In general, how can we write a system uh, of first order ODEs uh, in that we need to define uh, if uh, n dependent variables, if uh, the system is generally it contains n dependent variables. So there is one independent variable T, okay? This is basically uh, independent variable. And we need to define n dependent variables. For example, we, we can define y1, y2, so on, yn, or x1 of T, x2 of t and so on, xn of t. These are all dependent variables. And uh, all these dependent variables, or they are functions of t only, <clears throat> there must be domain. So we assume that t is defined on some interval a to B, or you can see, say that T belongs to some interval I, which is A, B, this interval. Then we can define a system of uh, first order OD uh, in this form as DX1 by DT is equal to some function F1 of T, which is the independent variable. And now all the dependent variables, X1, x2, so on, xn. Second, dx2 by dt is equal to some other function f2, which is a function of independent variable plus all the dependent variables, xn, and so on. Uh, in general, we can define dxn by dt is equal to some function fn of T, X1, X2, so on, Xn. So this is how we can define a system of first order ODE. We call this system, system one. Is there a, um, any see? question, Gigi? Um, see, is K under you um, F1, uh, F2, Fn, ye sari hai. Yes, uh, yes, are first or uh, first derivatives are dx1 by dt or dx2 by dt. Yeah, for dx2 by dt is uh, second derivative. No, the, the x1, x2, xn, they are n, n independent variables. They're not derivatives. Okay, they are different variables. For example, uh, if uh, 
I define system of two differential equation, then I can use different variables. There, <clears throat> I have to define n variables, so I, I took the index of all the variables. For example, I can define dy by dt is equal to some f of dxy, okay? And the other variable, independent variable is dx, uh, x, which is a function of t. In that case, we can define some function g x y. So this is basically a system of two first order ODEs. Okay, where x and y are both dependent variables. X is a function of t and y is also a function of t. t is only a independent variable which belongs to some interval i, which could be a, b, where a, b belongs to r, okay? Y is dependent, X is dependent, and uh, they depend on T because the derivative is with respect to T. So uh, it could be a function T, uh, function F of T independent variable and the dependent variable. For example, let we, we, we write example of this thing, dy by dt is some uh, function, you can say t square x plus 2y plus uh, maybe 3 and dx y, dx by dt is equal to uh, x square plus maybe x y plus sine t. Okay, so uh, this is an example of first order system of first order ODs. And this system contains two uh, first order ODs, dy by dt, tx squared plus 2y plus 3, and then dx by dt is equal to x squared plus xy plus sine t. Okay. Where, what is this? This is your first function, and we can write this thing as dy by dt is equal to some function of what? What is this function of? It is a function of t, x, and y. So we can write this as some function f, t of uh, uh, f of t, x, y. Similarly, the other equation can be written as dx by dt is equal to some other function. We can call it f1 and we can call it f2. So it is <laughs> again a function of x, y, and t. So we can write it as a function of x, y, and t, where f1 is what? f1 is this function, and f2 is what? f2 is this function. Now you can see that f1, this function, uh, it could be a linear function as well as non-linear function of x, y, and t. There are people which need to. So f1 here in this case, uh, it is linear in X and Y. It is linear in X and Y because X and Y are dependent variables. So we need to see that whether uh, this function is linear in X and Y or not. It is linear because here we have X power one, Y power one, but this function is non-linear in X and Y as well. Because X here, it has power two. And here we have product of two dependent variables. Here we have one, one, so in total, we have power two here. So this function is nonlinear. So what do we get from here that these functions could be linear functions of x, y or nonlinear functions of x, y. If these functions are linear functions of x, y, then the system of linear equation is called a linear system of first order ODEs. If they are nonlinear, then we call them nonlinear system of first order ODEs. I hope you get it. Let's uh, uh, see another example. For example, we write here uh, a system dx1 by dt is equal to 2x plus 3y plus 5t and dx2 by dt is equal to 9x minus 3, maybe minus 7y plus sign of t, and uh, here you have two. Now in this system, I assume that x1 uh, is dependent variable and x2 is dependent variable, with, and they depend on t. 
where t is the domain of the independent variable we assume that t is defined here t belongs to maybe uh, 0 to 1 or 0 to infinity or anything so this is your system of first order ods now you can see that this function f1 of t x1 x2 and this is a function of uh, f2 t of x1 and x2 but you notice here that um, the variables dependent variables so uh, sorry 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 i have to write here, here x1 and x2 so this is x1 this is 3x2 and 7x2 here we have 9x1 so now you can see that x1 and x2 are linear they have only power 1 here we have power 1 power 1 so the right hand side means f1 and f2 they are linear functions of x1 and x2 okay they are linear functions of x1 and x2 so this system so this system so this system of first order system of first order ODEs is linear system is linear if a system of first order od is linear then we can write it we can write it in in a matrix form in a matrix form how can we write it in a matrix form uh, we put this thing in a vector dx1 by dt and dx2 by dt. This is a two by one vector is equal to. Now you can see that we can separate the coefficient of x1 and x2 into a matrix and we can write two, three, nine, and minus seven times x1 and x2 plus the functions of t which do not involve x1 and x2. So we can write another vector here, 5t and 2 sine t, this. So every linear system, which is linear in x and y, uh, can be written into the matrix form. And furthermore, we can uh, write this thing. No, we don't have here. Let's go to the other board. Uh, two. This one. Now that third, that system can further be written as d by dt of x1, x2 is equal to uh, the same two, three, uh, nine minus seven times x1 x2 plus 5t and uh, 2 sine t this thing if i assume that this is your matrix a and this is a vector x okay and this is some uh, some vector of uh, which is a function of t then let me admit the people this is some function f uh, sorry sub some factor vector f of t only and this is again your x vector because it, it is again here so we can write d x vector by dt is equal to a times x vector plus some f vector. So in short, we can write that linear system into, uh, into this form. I hope you get it. If you have any question, you can ask me. Where A is this matrix, this x1, x2 is the x vector, and d by dt of x vector 
and this is your f vector which contains this is basically a function of t now this is basically is a matrix form is a matrix form of linear first order system of odes one other thing which we need to mention i need to mention here is is that when there is this function f of t and it is non zero then this system is called linear non homogeneous first order linear system first order system of odes okay if this f of t is not equal to 0 this vector is not equal to 0 then we call that this system is non homogeneous linear uh, system of first order odes if if this uh, vector is zero here for example if, if we don't have this vector okay in 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 that system of first order odes then the system b x by b t is equal to a times x we get this and it is called is a homogeneous a uh, linear system of first order differential equations uh, i hope you get it if you have any question you you can ask me there's a question in the chat window let me see it sir can we please have our quiz in the next class okay uh, i hope you get it if you have any question you you, you can ask me and in general linear first order system can be written in this form can be written general linear uh, system of uh, first order odes mm, linear system of first order odes before we have written uh, a general system of uh, uh, first order odes in that the odes the first order odes they they might not be linear now if they are all linear then how can we write it that uh, dx1 by dt is equal to f1 of sorry not f1 now uh, we we will write the linear form of that f function we we say that it is a11 of t x1 plus a12 of t x2 plus so on plus a1n of t x n plus some uh, g1 of t which is only the function of t and then dx by dx2 by dt is equal to a12 of t x1 plus a1 sorry 21 a21 and then a uh, 22 of t x2 plus so on plus a2n of t x n plus g2 of t this will be a second now and so on every term will we will generalize it and we can write d x n by d t is equal to a n 1 of t x 1 plus a n 2 of t x 2 plus so on plus a n n of t x n plus some g n of t this so this is your <coughs> 
system of first order, uh, linear system of first order ODEs. All these functions are now, uh, this is basically what this function, this whole thing is what it is, F1 of P, X1, X2, so on, Xn. Now this function could be linear or non-linear. If it is linear, then we can write it in this form where x1, x2, they are all linear, they have powers one, and their coefficient functions, they are functions of t, a11 of t, a12 of t, they are the functions of t only, they, they cannot involve x1 or x2, okay? They cannot involve dependent variables. They could be uh, functions of t only or they could be constants, okay? As we have written the previous example, 2x1 plus 3x2. Okay? In, in that example, the coefficients were constants only, okay? But they could be functions of t as well. Now, now this is your uh, linear system of first order ODEs plus it is non-homogeneous as well. It is non-homogeneous. Okay, now we can write this system if we call this as a G vector and then we can write this whole system into a matrix form by writing uh, D by DT of X1, X2, so on, Xn is equal to a matrix which is A11 of T, A12 of T plus so on, A1N of T. And here a two one of t, a two two of t, so on, a two n of t, uh, and so on, and so on, and so on, a n one of t, a n two of t, plus so on, and the last one is a n n of t times x one of t, x two of t, so on, x n of t plus a vector which doesn't involve the dependent variables, which we call G1 of T, G2 of T. You see a mic on here, kindly turn off your mic. So uh, this is how we can write the system into a matrix form. And further by assuming that this is your X vector, this is your A matrix, and this is your G vector, uh, we can write this thing as DX, by dt. Now x is a vector, you have to put a bar here. Uh, it is equal to a times x plus some g vector, which is a function of t only. Now, this is your general uh, nth order because it has n uh, differential equations with n unknown variables. And then this is basically a system of n first order linear non-homogeneous uh, ODEs. If this is zero, then we call it homogeneous uh, linear system. I hope you get it. If you have any question, you, you can ask me. There's a question in the chat window, maybe. What is this? Can in linear non-homogeneous system have A11 or A12 or A1n as something that is more than the function of P or constant? Uh, no, they could be uh, only the function of T. Okay, who is this? Faik Bilal, you can talk to me, turn on your mic and ask your question if you have any concern. Kim Faik. Okay, sir. Thank you. Talk yeah. to me. They are only the function of T. If they involve Dependent variable x1 and x2, then a, this system will become uh, would become a non-linear system, and a non-linear system cannot be. We cannot write that linear system into matrix form. Why? Let's uh, go back to the example one, which we discussed on uh, the first board here. Second, this one. Can you can you write this system into matrix form? Let's try.
देखें लेफ्ट हैंड साइड तो वी कैन राइट इट डी बाई डी टी एक्स वाई ठीक है इक्वल टू वी हैव टू राइट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू इन टू मेट्रिक्स एंड हेयर वी हैव टू राइट एक्स वन सॉरी एक्स एंड वाई एक्स एंड वाई ठीक है प्लस सम वैक्टर विच डजन इन्वॉल्व यहां पर आ जाएगा थ्री साइन टी ठीक है कैन वी सेपरेट द कोफिशियंट हेयर ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई इन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन यस एक्स वन का कोफिशियन क्या है टी स्केयर वाई वन वाई का कोफिशियंट क्या है टू बट हेयर एक्स केयर का कोफिशियंट यहां पर एक्स तो नहीं है तो एक्स केयर है यहां पर इस तरह यहां पर एक्स इन टू वाई है सो वी कैनट हैव कोफिशियंट हेयर ठीक है वी कैनट सेपरेट दम बाय एक्स केयर एंड वाई है यहां पे कुछ और भी हो सकता है इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी कि यहां पे एक्स केयर वाई हो एक्स केयर या एक्स वाई हो यहां पे एक्स स्केयर एक्स अंडर रूट वाई भी हो सकता है ठीक है एक्स वाई स्केयर रूट इट कुड बी एनीथिंग इट कुड बी एनी नॉन लीनियर फंक्शन यहां पे एक्स केयर की जगह साइन एक्स में लिख देता हूं ठीक है इट मे इन्वॉल्व any function of the dependent variable then we we cannot separate the variables x and y here so we cannot write this non linear system uh into a matrix form we can write only the linear systems into matrix form i hope you get it uh fike if you have any yes. further question you, you can ask me any other guy we cannot write non linear system into matrix form because the variables dependent variables are not linear here okay only a linear system of first order ods can be transformed into a matrix form uh, i hope you get it if you have any question you can ask me say so, uh, t ka koi bhi function ho sakta hai is case mein yes t could be any function theek hai yahan pe t square hai aap yahan pe kuch bhi likh sakte hain you can write any function means exponential of t or yahan pe aap likh sakte hain sin t theek hai t ka koi bhi function ho it doesn't matter because it it is independent variable theek hai jaise ki humne yahan pe system mein likha in the system uh we have written here a11 of t a11 of t is a function of any function of t but it should be defined continuous function Okay. So this is your system of first order ODEs. What we are going to deal uh, first, we shall deal homogeneous linear systems, homogeneous system of linear equations, first order the system of linear equations. Plus, uh, first we will deal with this coefficient matrix A. Here the coefficient matrix A. is basically uh, it is a function of t times x okay because a this matrix it has entries which are functions of t but first we shall deal when uh, these uh, these this coefficient matrix is a constant matrix it 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 contains only the constant entries what does it mean that they are no more the functions of t okay they are not the functions of t they are constants constants they could be any constant real number for example 2 3 5 anything so uh, first we shall deal this linear system with constant coefficients plus homogeneous we not dealing first the non homogeneous uh, system we are going to deal this uh, system and how to solve it we will learn how to solve it and this system can be written as how d by dt of x is equal to a times x plus 0 nothing this one where a has the entries which are constants so first we shall uh, see how to handle these kind of systems how to solve these 
kind of systems linear uh, homogeneous system of first order uh, ods with constant coefficients okay with yahan pe non homogeneous with constant coefficients okay what is an example of this let's write an example of this system where i can write this one here <clears throat> if i remove this then this system is what it is a first order homogeneous uh linear system with constant coefficients because the matrix it contains only the real numbers so this is your uh it is in fact basically dx by dt is equal to 2x1 minus plus uh, plus 3x2 and dx2 by dt is equal to 9x1 minus 7x2. So these kind of systems we we shall deal, uh, we shall discuss, and uh, we'll find the ways how to solve it. This is a two by two system. We can write a three by three system. For example, dx1 ya aap isko dx by dt uh, is equal to 2x minus 3y. Minus z and dy by dt is equal to negative x plus seven y minus three z and d z by dt. It is. It could be uh, only y minus z. Okay. This is uh, a three by three system. It has three dependent variables, unknown variables, and one. d is independent variable so this system can be written as d by dt of x y z is equal to in a matrix form we write the coefficient of x y and z it is 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 7 minus 3 here we don't have coefficient of x so we can write 0 so 0 1 and minus 1 times x y and z so this is basically a 3 by 3 system which contains three uh, first order odes if you have any question you can ask me what is now the solution of uh, uh, this system of first order ods which is homogeneous with constant coefficient obviously okay now what is the solution of this uh, system obviously uh, the solution is a vector the solution must be a vector x1 of t x2 of t okay and there should be functions of t okay here we must have function of t here we have must we must have some function of t uh, so that if we put x1 here here x2 here x1 here x2 here okay agar hum if we put this solution each solution x1 and x2 here in this system the system turns into identity both sides become equal okay left hand side of each differential equation must be equal to the right hand side of the respective first order differential equation okay this is what we call the solution of the first order system same as we discussed the solutions of uh, simple differential equations okay let me clean this board maybe let's go back here i'm going to pause the video for 1 minute
verification of solutions. Now, what is a solution and how to verify it? Let's do an example of this thing and uh, we'll move forward. For example, if we have uh, a linear system of this form, uh, dx1 by dt is equal to x1 plus 3x2, and then dx2 by dt is equal to 5x1 plus 3x2, again. And uh, we, we have to verify that. Still, we don't know how to find this solution, okay? We are, okay, boarding it. Let me change the board. Sorry, this one. So this is uh, an example, dx1 by dt, dx2 by dt is equal to x1 plus 3x2 and 5x1, 3x2. And we need to verify that x1, x2, uh, which is uh, a, a, a x vector, uh, and this is equal to what? It is one minus one e to the power two t. Or we can multiply this thing inside and we get e to the power two t and negative e to the power two t. Okay, so this is uh, negative e to the power minus two t here. Minus, minus, minus. Power me minus. We need to verify that whether this is a solution of the given system uh, or not. So this system can be can be written into a matrix form d by dt of what x one x two is equal to into matrix form one three uh, five three times x one x two. We need to verify, <coughs> or you can write this thing uh, with the derivative inside dx1 by dt and dx2 by dt. Okay. Now, if this is your solution, if you need to verify that this is your solution, what you have to do, you have to take its derivative. So its derivative would be dx bar by dt. What does it mean? It is dx1 by dt over dx, uh, sorry, and dx2 by dt. We need to take the derivative separately of each solution. So its derivative is what? e to the power minus two ka derivative. It is minus e to the power minus two t and minus two as well. Or you have a minus minus plus ho jayega, two e to the power minus two t. So this is the derivative of the solutions x1 and x2. This is your left hand side, okay? Now let's try the right hand side. On the right hand side, you have to see this. And what is this? Uh, it is your RHS, right hand side, one, three, five, three. And what are the values of X1? X1 is uh, e to the power minus two t, e to the power minus two t. And the second one is negative e to the power minus two t. So you have to multiply matrix with the vector. Uh, what do we get here? this into this plus this into this. So it becomes e to the power minus two t minus three e to the power minus two t and five into this minus three into this. Five e to the power minus two t minus three e to the power minus two t and it becomes what? e to the power minus two t minus three e to the power minus two t. It is minus two e to the power minus two t and this one is two e to the power minus two. So this is your right hand side, okay? This is your right hand side. You can see that this right hand side is equal to the left hand side. So uh, this is what, uh, this is the solution of this system. Both equations should be satisfied, okay? So the system, so the solution of the system is actually a vector and we can obviously write this uh, solution into this form. Uh, a vector, constant vector, a vector which con contains constant entries into some function of t. Okay. So this is how we can 
verify that whether a given vector is a solution of first order system or not. Now we can see that solution is always of, uh, uh, if we have a single first order uh, linear ODE, okay, D for example, dy by dt is equal to some from three times y. Okay. This is a single first order uh, ODE, which is linear and homogeneous. Okay. Then what would be the solution of this? Agar hum isko solve kare by using some uh, technique of linear ODE. Sorry, board. I need to change the board. Yes. If we have uh, this kind of differential equation, which is a single first order linear homogeneous uh, differential equation, then we can solve this thing using separation of variables or uh, using the technique which we uh, use to solve linear first order ODEs. And it is homogeneous as well. Uh, by using separation of variables, we can write one over y dy is equal to three dt. Okay, then uh, it's integral both sides is natural log of y is equal to three t plus c. Then y could be what? It is e raised path three t plus c. And finally, we can write y of uh, t is equal to some constant, some constant times e raised power three t. Okay. So the solution of uh, linear differential equation, which is homogeneous, that constant coefficient is always of this form. Okay. If a single equation is, then it is. If a system of two equations is, then solution is type ka hoga. Abhi humne jo uh, we just have seen an example. In that example, we, we saw that the solution is what? It is uh, one minus one times e raised power two t. Okay. So this is what? This you can write it kind of uh, one single entry, a constant times e raised power, some lambda t. I guess system hai aapke paas, system of uh, two differential equations which are first order, homogeneous, linear, with constant coefficients. Then the solution must be of this form. If you have a system of uh, n equations, hai. system, or you can n by n system, hai aapke paas, differential equations, which, uh, uh, con which contain n differential equations in n uh, unknown variables, then the solution will be of, uh, this form, some constant, you can say the C1, C2, so on, Cn, constant vector times some exponential function of t. So in general, if you have a single equation, then a constant times exponential of some constant time t. Two equations, then you have a vector, hai, constant factor times exponential of some constant times t. If you have n by system, n by n system, hoga, to have a solution S type ka hoga, or uh, a, a, a constant vector times some exponential function of here, you can have constant times t. So in general, the solution, we can generalize that the solution of a system of first order homogeneous uh, uh, differential equations uh, is of this form. Okay. I hope you get it. If you have any question, you, you can ask me. Till here, if you have any question, you can ask me. The next thing is uh, superposition principle. We used to discuss it uh, for uh, simple differential equations as well. Now we are going to discuss the superposition principle as well. But remember that uh, in general, 
uh, we can assume that the solution is is basically is of this form balki pehle let us discuss this thing and then we'll discuss the superposition principle now if we uh, assume that the solution is of this form uh, if we assume that the solution of an n by n system system of n differential equation first order is of this form and the system is what d by dt of power x sorry x bar is equal to a times x bar okay this is your homogeneous uh, linear system if this is the solution and we can further uh, write that this is aap uh, isko c na kahe some other keh de c constant of integration se uh, confuse karega so it is k1 k2 keh de so on kn keh de theek hai or in general isko aap k vector keh de n times e raised power lambda t theek hai so this is uh, x vector which is equal to what k vector where k vector is what it is this vector times e raised power lambda t if we assume that this homogeneous linear system with constant coefficient it has uh, this kind of solution if it is a solution then it must satisfy that system so if we put it here then what do we obtain d by dt of x bar ki value solution ki put kar dein k e raised power lambda t is equal to a times solution x kya hai it is k times e raised power lambda t theek hai yahan pe derivative ye to constant vector hai is pe derivative apply nahi hoga it will go outside k vector and derivative of this thing is what it is lambda e raised power lambda t and is equal to a into k theek hai a into k uh, e raised power lambda t yeah. now this k vector and this is a k vector theek hai aap uh, uh, that is identical theek hai e raised power lambda t e raised power lambda t theek hai this is also identical theek hai we we if we again if uh, we assume that k vector is not a zero vector if k vector is not a zero vector and also e raised power lambda t exponential function is never zero theek okay. hai if this k vector is homogeneous uh, uh zero vector then the solution will become a trivial solution and every uh, linear system must have a trivial system trivial solution एक्स अगर जीरो पुट करें तो दोनों साइड सेटिस्फाई हो जाती हैं। वी गेट द ट्रिवियल सॉल्यूशन। ट्रिवियल सॉल्यूशन क्या होगा ट्रिवियल सॉल्यूशन इज एक्स बार विच कंटेन जीरो जीरो सो ऑन जीरो दिस इज योर ट्रिवियल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द सिस्टम बट वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन वी नीड टू फाइंड नॉन ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन सो वी असूम दैट के बार इज नॉन जीरो एन एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज नॉन जीरो सो वी कैन एलिमिनेट दिस फैक्ट के एंड एक्सपोनशियल factor from here and we can write uh, lambda is equal to a times uh ha balki up to no aap isko udhar le jaye pehle so what would it, it become this k times lambda My, minus a times k uh, times e raised power lambda t is equal to ab isko zero vector kya hai theek hai now this is always non zero theek hai yahan pe humne kaha then agar aap isko eliminate kare to from here we can obtain k times lambda balki aap k ko udhar likh le k times lambda i minus a times k is equal to zero vector this theek hai acha what you obtain you obtain this equation theek hai now we we can always assume that the solution of the first order system is is of this form where what we have to find 
we have to find this k vector which is unknown and this lambda which is unknown theek okay. hai so we assume that this is non zero vector and this is always non zero by solving this equation we we obtain this thing and as this is non zero uh, we can eliminate this thing and we can write this equation okay. where k is unknown and we have to determine and lambda is also unknown uh, we have to determine we we know that the solution is is of this form uh, if we can find this vector these unknown values k1 k2 so on kn plus this unknown value lambda okay then uh, by using that linear system given linear system then this will be the solution of the given linear system so by inserting this solution into the uh, differential equation system of differential equation we arrive at this equation okay now what is this this is an equation which has lambda into i minus a humne yahan pe i kyun likha when we took k common from this equation why did we write here uh, i can anyone tell me anyone two people are waiting to join can you tell me g yeah, um... जब हम के कॉमन ले लेंगे तो ए क्योंकि एक मैट्रिक्स है और उसके अंदर से हम कुछ सब प्राप्त कर रहे हैं तो उसको भी एक मैट्रिक्स ही होना चाहिए तो इसलिए वो लैम्डा आई हो जाएगा डेफिनेटली बिकॉज़ यू कैन सी दैट हियर ए टाइम्स के इज अ वेक्टर के टाइम्स लैम्डा इज अ वेक्टर व्हेन यू टुक दिस कॉमन के हियर लैम्डा इज ओनली अ कांस्टेंट ओके अगर यहां पे के को कॉमन लेंगे ये लिखेंगे लैम्डा माइनस ए then mathematically this expression is wrong because we cannot subtract a matrix form a single entry which is constant <clears throat> okay so we have to put here an identity matrix of same order the order of a and i must be same same order ek order yahan pe kya hai kyunki ye n by n system hai to aapka ek order n by n hai तो आई का ऑर्डर भी क्या होना चाहिए एन बाय एन बोथ दीज शुड बी स्केर मैट्रिक्स एंड आई इज आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स आई होप यू नो व्हाट इज आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स ठीक है सो नाउ वी ऑप्टेन दिस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन हेल्प अस टू फाइंड द अननोन वेक्टर के एंड लेमडा व्हिच इज हियर इन द इन द एक्सपोनेंशियल पावर we start with the bulky ha nahi dikh raha with the same equation lambda i minus a times k vector is equal to zero vector yahan pe zero vector aayega not only zero because the right and left hand side is a vector so right hand side must be a vector as well now this equation ye kya hai what is this equation can any, anyone tell me so fatma what is this equation a characteristic equation no it is a linear system it is a homogeneous linear system homogeneous linear system hai ya nahi kaise hai k ek vector hai aur ye kya hai ek matrix hai theek hai agar is matrix ko hum keh de ki ye wala matrix jo hai ye b hai theek hai ye b ek matrix hai kyunki lambda into r और ए मैट्रिक्स ठीक है ये एक मैट्रिक्स है लेमडा आई माइनस ए ये भी एक अगेन एक मैट्रिक्स होगा टाइम्स अ वेक्टर इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेक्टर व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज होमोजेनस लीनियर सिस्टम ठीक है अच्छा लीनियर एल्जेब्रा में यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड होमोजेनस लीनियर सिस्टम जो होते हैं 
इसका ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन ऑब्वियसली एग्जिस्ट करता है ये वेक्टर को अगर आप जीरो वेक्टर ले लें तो उसका सोल्यूशन होगा नॉन ट्रिवल सोल्यूशन किसी भी होमोजीनियस लीनियर सिस्टम के कब एग्जिस्ट करते हैं एनी वन जब उसका डिटरमिनेंट जीरो होता है होमोजिनियस लीनियर सिस्टम देन इट मस्ट हैव नॉन नॉन ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन ओनली इफ दिस बी इज अ सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स मीन्स इसका डिटर्मिनेंट जो है वो जीरो होगा ठीक है बी का डिटर्मिनेंट जीरो होने से मुराद क्या है कि आपका दिस इज अ होमोजेनियस लीनियर सिस्टम ठीक है इट मस्ट हैव नॉन ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन फॉर और इन ऑर्डर टू ऑबटेन नॉन ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन टू ऑबटेन नॉन ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन वॉट वी हैव टू uh right here or what we should have determinant of b or determinant of lambda i minus a must be zero okay. if this is true then we can find the non trivial solutions of this homogeneous linear system and non trivial solutions of this homogeneous linear systems are what They are k vectors, ठीक है? That it would that would be a k vector. आपके पास ये homogeneous linear system है. यहाँ से अगर आपके पास determinant of b zero है, तो you can find non-homogeneous sorry non-trivial solutions uh, of this non-trivial solutions k, ठीक है? You can find non-trivial solutions of K from this system or from this system. Okay. Provided that the coefficient matrix is singular, means its determinant, its determinant is zero. अच्छा, अब आपने क्या assume किया था कि solution जो है, वो इस form का है, ठीक है? Solution इस form का है, which contains an unknown vector K and an unknown value of lambda, ठीक है? यहां से आपके पास दो इक्वेशन हैं, ठीक है एक ये आपके पास होमोजेनियस लीनियर सिस्टम है यहां से आप क्या फाइंड कर सकते हैं के वेक्टर, और ये जो इक्वेशन है इसमें के तो नहीं है इसमें क्या है लेमडा है आई है ए है ये आपके पास डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स है ठीक है एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो यहां से आप क्या फाइन कर सकते हैं लेमडा बिकॉज ओनली अन नॉन हेयर इज लेमडा A is non matrix, which we can obtain from the given linear system. I is identity matrix. We know it. Only lambda is unknown. From this equation, and this is called characteristic equation. Okay, linear algebra. Me, you have read it. What is this equation? Basically, it is a polynomial equation. polynomial equation of degree degree kya hogi iski n kyun kyunki ek order n hai aapke paas ek n by n matrix hai theek hai uska determinant agar aap zero put kare theek hai to aapke paas ye matrix jo hai isme lambda diagonals mein hoga ठीक है और कितने लेमडाज होंगे एन लेमडाज होंगे तो आपके पास यहां पे पोलिनोमिल बनेगा डिग्री एन का ठीक है डिग्री एन का पोलिनोमिल बनेगा उस पोलिनोमिल की कितनी मैक्सिमम रूट्स हो सकती हैं एन रूट्स हो सकती हैं तो आपके पास लेमडा की एन वैल्यूज आ सकती हैं ठीक है तो फिर हर लेमडा की वैल्यू के लिए हम एक ये वेक्टर जो है अननोन वेक्टर फाइंड कर सकते हैं विच वुड बी द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस होमोजीनियस लीनियर सिस्टम एंड अल्टीमेटली फॉर एन लेमडास वी कैन फाइंड 
एन वैल्यूज ऑफ दीज वैक्टर्स ठीक है तो आपके पास इस टाइप के एन सोल्यूशन होंगे गिवन लीनियर सिस्टम के एन सोल्यूशन होंगे एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस थिंग बल्कि हाँ वो ऊपर वाली जो एग्जाम्पल हमने की थी ये वाली हमने और और मतलब जी जी ना हम उनकी भी बात करते Let's let me talk about the eigen values and eigen vectors. That by solving this characteristic equation, where is that equation? This one. By solving this characteristic equation, uh, we obtain n values: lambda one, lambda two, so on, lambda n. because we obtain by solving this characteristic equation we obtain a polynomial of degree n which can have at most n uh, n values these values are called are called eigen values eigen values and corresponding to each eigen value we can find a vector here from by by putting lambda 1 here we'll have a known matrix coefficient matrix plus an unknown vector k theek hai by solving this uh, homogeneous linear system we can obtain k1 corresponding to lambda 1 corresponding to lambda 1 we can corresponding to lambda 1 we can find k1 vector corresponding to lambda 2 we can find k2 vector and so on and corresponding to lambda n we can find kn vector okay by putting term by term here lambda 1 solve it lambda 2 solve it lambda 3 solve it and so on you you will get respectively k1 k2 so on kn and and these vectors are called eigen vectors let me have the chalk these vectors are called eigen vectors ab aapke paas agar aapke paas n eigen values hain aur corresponding n eigen vectors hain then we can write how much solutions then we can write We can write n solutions. हम हमारे पास solution क्या था? Uh, corresponding to each eigen value, value and and eigen vector. Eigen vector. We can write. n solutions n solutions of of given linear system hum kahenge ji x1 pehla solution hai jiska eigen vector first exponential of lambda 1 t ye uska pehla solution hai humne kya assume kiya tha shuru mein ki solution kis type ka hai इस टाइप ये है ना हमने ये अस्यूम किया था कि सोल्यूशन जो है वो इस टाइप का है ठीक है एंड दिस सोल्यूशन कैन बी कैन बी रिटन एज अगर के वन के टू सो ऑन के एन वैक्टर को अगर हम के uh, वैक्टर कह देते हैं तो ई रेस बार लेमडा टी तो सोल्यूशन इज ऑफ दिस फॉर्म ठीक है अब हमारे पास कितने वैक्टर्स हैं एन वैक्टर्स हैं और कितनी ये वैल्यूज हैं लेमडा की एन वैल्यूज हैं तो आपके पास कितने सोल्यूशन होंगे एन सोल्यूशन होंगे और सारे के सारे सॉल्यूशन इस फॉर्म में हम लिख सकते हैं तो वी वी राइट हेयर एक्स वन इज ऑफ दिस फॉर्म ठीक है 
एक्स टू हमने कह दिया इज एनदर सोल्यूशन विच इज के टू वैक्टर ई रेस पार लमडा टू टी एंड सो ऑन एक्स टू सॉरी एक्स एन वैक्टर एक्स एन वैक्टर इज इट इज अ सोल्यूशन विच इज के एन वैक्टर टाइम्स ई रेस पार लमडा एन ऑफ टी सो वी ऑप्टेन एन सोल्यूशन we can check whether these solutions are linearly independent or not we can check whether these solutions are linearly independent or not if they are linearly independent if they are linearly independent we can write the general solution uh, how we can write the general solution <coughs> we can use the principle of superposition um see जी 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 जब एनए में पढ़ा था कि जब रिपीटेड भी तो हो सकती है हमारी लेमडा की वैल्यूज और उसके कोरिस्पॉन्डिंग ये हो सकता है कि एक लेमडा की वैल्यू के लिए मल्टीपल हमारे वेक्टर्स हो विल डिस्कस दैट थिंग इन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास व्हेन द दीस आइगन वैल्यूज आर रिपीटेड और डिस्टिंक्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग हियर एन आइडियल केस when all the lambdas are distinct theek hai when all the lambdas are real and distinct then all these solutions uh, will be linearly independent and how we can check whether they are linearly independent or not will will be using ronskian theek hai ek to traditional condition hai uh, linear independent check karne ki jo ke aap expression likhte hain uh, kya expression hota hai wo let me write that thing again for you people there okay linear independent kaise check karte hain linear independence linear independence or dependence of solutions ek to traditional tarika hai you write c1 x1 vector plus c2 x2 vector plus so on plus c n x n <coughs> sorry x nahi k vector aap x keh sakte hain aap is equal to 0 vector theek hai ab yahan se aapke paas x1 x2 so on kya hai x1 uh, c1 x1 jo hai wo uh, k1 theek hai e raised power lambda 1 t plus c2 ya in general आप इसको डिस्कस कर लें इफ ऑल दीज कॉन्स्टेंट सी वन सी टू सी एन इफ ऑल दीज कॉन्स्टेंट आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस सिस्टम बिकॉज दिस इज अस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन क्योंकि के वन जो है वो वेक्टर है इसका कोफिशन एक्सपोनेशन ऑफ लेमडा वन टी है अगर आप इसको इस तरह हैंडल करें सी वन के वन ई रेस पार लेमडा वन टी प्लस सी टू के टू ई रेस पार लेमडा टू टी प्लस वन प्लस सी एन ए रेस के के एन ई रेस पार लेमडा एन टी इक्वल टू जीरो वैक्टर अगर आप इसको सॉल्व करना चाहें इस तरह तो इट वुड बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यहाँ पे एन इक्वेशन जब के वन की वैल्यू बुट करेंगे ये वैक्टर है ठीक है साथ ही मल्टीप्लाई होगा के टू का डिफरेंट वैक्टर है साथ ही डिफरेंट मल्टीप्लाई होगा इस सिस्टम को सॉल्व करना बहुत मुश्किल है ठीक है वट वी हैव टू डू हेयर वी हैव टू find some easy method to check whether these uh, solutions x1 x2 so on xn they are linearly independent or not for that we we find ronskian ronskian and ronskian in this case would be what it it is you can denote it by w okay w is uh, what it is the determinant of aapke paas jo k k vector hai k वेक्टर k वेक्टर क्या होगा या आप x वेक्टर को कह दें यहां पे इन जनरल k1 होगा k1 की एंट्रीज आप यहां पे लिख दें ठीक है यहां पे मैंने इसमें लिखा हुआ है लेट मी या इन जनरल आप x की एंट्री x1 की एंट्रीज लिख दें x1 की एंट्रीज अगर आपके पास x11 x21 सो ऑन एक्स एन वन ठीक है 
पहले पहला वेक्टर लिख दिया आपने पहला सोल्यूशन वैक्टर एक्स वन ठीक है अगर एक्स वन आपके पास सोल्यूशन वैक्टर है तो डेफिनेटली उसमें एन इंक्रीज होंगी ठीक है तो पहले वेक्टर को आपने यहां पे लिख दिया दूसरे वेक्टर को कॉलम वेक्टर है ना तो कॉलम वेक्टर्स में लिखेंगे यहां पे वन टू एक्स टू टू सो ऑन एक्स यहां पे टू एन एन टू आल ठीक है एन सो ऑन एन सो ऑन एन सो ऑन यहां पे एक्स वन एन एक्स टू एन एन सो ऑन एक्स एन एन ये आपका रोन स्किन है ठीक है डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ऑल द सोल्यूशन इन द कॉलम वैक्टर्स आपने इन सोल्यूशन को यहां पे कॉलम वैक्टर्स में लिख दिया ठीक है अगर ये डिटर्मिनेंट इफ दिस डिटर्मिनेंट इज नॉन जीरो फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ टी बिलोंग्स टू आई ठीक है फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ टी बिलोंग्स टू आई ठीक है बिकॉज दे आर फंक्शन ऑफ टी बिकॉज दे इन्वॉल्व एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ लिमडा वन टी एज If this Ron skin is non-zero for all values of t, then we say that uh, x1, x2, so on, xn they are linearly independent. If they are linearly independent, then we can write the general solution uh, by using this principle of <coughs> superposition. How can we write the solution uh, by using the principle of superposition? We can write the general solution of the linear system. General solution. Of the linear system of uh, equations is x bar of t is equal to some constant of integration times x one of t plus some other constant x two of t plus so on plus c n x n of t. Where x one, x two, so on, x n are linearly independent solutions, and c one, c two, so on, c n are constants of integration are parameters of the solutions. ठीक है Uh, this is what the principle of superposition is, as well. Uh, that if we have two different linearly independent solutions of uh, a one differential equation, then their linear combination is also uh, a solution of the given system. ये हमने कई दफा पढ़ा है principle of superposition. You can read it in my notes. I shall upload it. then uh, in case of any problem you can discuss these things with me okay and fundamental set of solutions kya hota hai i told you agar ye sare linearly independent solutions hain to in ka jo set hoga that would be a fundamental set of solutions and uh, if we have a fundamental set of solutions for any system of differential equation we can write the general solutions if you have any question you can ask me otherwise we are going to stop uh till here today in the next lecture we we shall discuss <coughs> how to find eigen values and eigen vectors of any particular given linear system if you have any question you can you can you can ask me otherwise i'm going to terminate this meeting sri question to ji bole jab hum ronskin यहाँ पे आपके पास वैक्टर्स हैं एन वैक्टर्स हैं दे ऑलरेडी फॉर्म द मैट्रिक्स Okay, and this is this is a different situation here. Now the solutions are basically vector functions. Okay, वहाँ पे आपके पास क्या था? Real valued functions थे. Okay, and we can uh, I'll show you the proof of uh, these two things if you want. Uh, in the next next lecture or you can separately uh have a meeting zoom meeting with me uh, i'll i'll show you uh the more detail of these two situations of uh, how to derive the ronskin okay yes